Hey, this is Paul from Wondershare Mobile Trans, and I was browsing Reddit the other day, and I saw this question from somebody. Someone was asking that they would like to listen to their podcast, but they are stuck on iTunes, and how can they get that over to their Android phone? And believe it or not, we get this question quite often because people get a brand new Android phone and then they want to move their podcast from their iTunes or their iPhone over to that Android phone so they don't stop listening to their favorite podcasts. And of course, if you don't know how to do it, it might be a little bit confusing or seem a little bit tricky. But lucky for you, today I'm going to show you four different methods on how you can move your podcast from your iPhone or iTunes over to your brand new Android phone. First of all, I love listening to podcasts, and if I brought a new Android phone and I couldn't take my podcast with me, I'd be quite upset. So luckily for you today, we are gonna show you four different methods that will help you move your podcast to your Android phone, and every single one of these methods are really easy, and they're fairly quick as well, so it shouldn't take too long, but let me show you and let's get into method number one. Method number one is to use a piece of software called Mobile Trends, and Mobile Trends is a great piece of software that allows you to move data over to your Android from an iOS device. And the good news is that it is really quick and you can do this without much effort at all. The application can be downloaded on both Mac and Windows PC, so no matter what device you have, you can use Mobile Trans, and that is great because it is so easy, it can happen within a couple of minutes, it takes just a few clicks, and if you wanna go and download it, if you check the description below, we'll put a link in there so you can go and download this Mobile Trans software. So let me show you the steps you need to go through using Mobile Trans to make sure your podcasts are transferred over to your Android device. The first thing you'll need to do, of course, is download it. And like I said, there is a link in the description below if you want to go and do that. And then what you'll need to do is grab your iPhone and head into iTunes and make sure you back up your phone to its latest backup. This is just so you have all of your podcasts that you've listened to over the past couple of weeks or some of the ones that you haven't listened to yet. They're saved for when you transfer them over. Then what you'll need to do is head into Mobile Trans and on that main interface, if you have a look at the lower right, you will see an option that says Restore and this is what you need to select. At this point, you'll need to connect your Android device to Mobile Trans and once you've done it with a good working USB cable, then Mobile Trans should detect that Android phone within just a couple of seconds, and that will appear on the right-hand side of the screen. On the left-hand side of the screen, you will see a couple of different options, and make sure here you select iTunes Backup Files. Once you've selected that, you will see a list of the iTunes Backup Files that you have just backed up to your computer and older ones as well. Here, if you just select the latest backup, this is the one that should have those most recent podcasts on it to transfer over to your Android phone. And it might look like you can't see a podcast option there, but not to worry because the podcasts do move over, but under other data. All you need to do then is select start, and depending on how much data that you have to transfer over, it could be done in seconds, or it could just take a couple of minutes. So while it's doing that, just sit back and relax, and then your podcast will be transferred over to your Android phone. Okay, method two is for people who specifically have a Mac computer. And don't worry, if you have a Windows computer, I will show you a step in a minute as well after this one. This is one of those methods that again is really quick and just takes a couple of steps. But what you'll need to do first of all is make sure you open your finder window and if you look in the top part of that finder window in the menu bar, you should see an option that says go. Once you click on that, you should then go to the bottom of that drop down menu and select go to folder. And you can do this as well by using the buttons shift, command and G at the same time. Here, a little box will pop up. And then what you need to do is put in the following command. So you can see it on screen now. And what we'll do is put this in the description as well so you can copy and paste it in so it's nice and easy. When you hit enter, you'll then be in a folder called group containers. And all you need to do here is open up that second file that starts with 243 
LU. That's the folder that you'll need. Then select library and inside there, just select cache. This is then where you should see all those podcasts that you have downloaded to your podcasts app on your Mac. The next step is to make sure you have downloaded something called Android File Transfer. And then once you've downloaded that, connect your Android and then open up the Android File Transfer application. This is then when you'll see a load of different folders, but ignore all of them and you need to look for podcasts. When you find it, then the next step is really simple. You drag and drop the podcast from the finder window into that podcast folder on your Android, and that is it. You have now moved all of your podcasts from your Mac over to your Android phone, and it was that simple. It just took a couple of minutes. Okay, now method three, like I promised before, is for people that don't have a Mac, but have a Windows PC. And it's fairly similar to the previous step, but there are just a couple of differences. So let me show you what you need to do. You'll first need to make sure you're subscribed to a podcast. So what you'll need to do is open up iTunes and find that podcast option. This should be in the top left and it should just be in that drop down menu. If you don't see any podcast here, what you'll have to do is head to the store and subscribe to one of the podcasts that you think that might be for you. You'll then need to make sure you've downloaded a few episodes to your computer and to do this, once you've subscribed, just select that little cloud option next to the episode and then the download will begin. Now, the next step is to find where those podcasts have been downloaded to on your PC. And this is really simple. You then need to go to the start menu and just search this PC. And then once you've selected that, just select music. You'll see a folder that says iTunes. And then inside that folder, you will see a folder that says iTunes media, select that. And then this is where you should see a podcast folder. This is then where all those podcasts that you've downloaded through iTunes will be stored. Now, with your Android phone connected to your PC, just navigate into the folder that should say podcasts. And just like the previous method, it is now as simple as dragging and dropping them from the PC into the phone. And that is it. And it is as simple as that. All those iTunes podcasts that you'd had downloaded and stored on your PC have now been moved from your PC over to your Android phone for you to listen to. And it was as simple as that. Okay, method four is the final method. And this is probably the most simple method out of all of them. So before going to the drastic measures of the first three steps, what you could do is simply just subscribe to those podcasts on your new Android phone. There are loads of different podcast apps out there. And if you go into the Google store and just search podcast, you'll see things like Pocket Casts, Podbean, Google Podcasts, and of course now, if you have Spotify downloaded onto your phone, you can listen and subscribe to your favorite podcasts on Spotify as well. And if you don't have access to a PC or a Mac, then this might be the easiest method for you. And my favorite podcast player at the moment has to be Spotify. If you open up Spotify, all you need to do in the search menu is just search your favorite podcast name. It will pop up and then you can follow or subscribe to it. And then it is that easy that podcast that you were listening to on your iTunes is now available for you to listen to on your Android phone. There you go, four really easy ways there to make sure that your podcasts have been moved from your iTunes library over to your Android phone. And remember, the first method we showed you was mobile trans and mobile trans moved over your podcast data in just a couple of minutes and is available on both Windows and Mac. So no matter what device you have, you can use this transfer tool and not miss out on any of its fantastic benefits. Not only can it help you move over your podcast data, it can also help you back up your WhatsApp data to the computer so you always have it there for safekeeping. And what else it can do is it can move your WhatsApp data from an Android to an iOS device or iOS to Android. So there is a lot that mobile trans can do. If this video helped you out, then why not let us know in the comments below. And of course, if you are stuck with anything that is WhatsApp related or anything at all, why not put it in the comments below? And we will hopefully try and make a video to help you out and get that problem fixed. Subscribe to the channel as well. And of course, give it a like and we will see you in the next video.